Hello, friends and believers in peace around the world. My name is Steve Penny Jr., and I am a member of the Dhammakaya Seattle Meditation Center. I have also ordained in the IDOP program in Patutani, Thailand, and have ordained, which is the International Dhammakaya Ordination Program. I have also ordained five times at the Seattle Meditation Center here in Seattle. I have spent nearly six months of my life as a monk. And today, I'm here to talk to you all about what is happening in Thailand. I seek to appeal to all people who care about religious freedom and human rights. This is without question the largest organized attack on religion of the 21st century. And the current attempts to eradicate Buddhism as we know it in Thailand. The Thai government has issued what is known as Article 44 that grants the government and military unlimited power to take control of Buddhism in Thailand. Currently, the military is being used to try to take possession and dismantle the largest Buddhist temple in the world, the last stronghold of Buddhism in Thailand, the Dhammakaya Temple in Patutani, Thailand. This temple is 11 times the size of the Vatican in Rome and is known for the massive ceremonies involving around a million members and monks and their mass ordination programs that set world records with 100,000 novice monks being ordained at once. In the last 35 years, the Dhammakaya Temple has spread from Thailand to every continent on earth with nearly 200 temples worldwide. The mission statement of the temple is world peace through inner peace. And the temple's main focus is that of meditation. And the very powerful and effective meditation technique that was passed down by the great master Lumpu Wakpaknam. This technique of meditation has been at the heart of the extremely quick spread of Dhammakaya from Thailand to around the world. I'm asking all people to join together to prevent the eradication of Buddhism in Thailand. Currently, the Thai government has sent thousands of DSI and military to take possession of the Dhammakaya temple. They started by first searching the temple with cooperation of all members, staff, and monks, and after finding nothing wrong, they then ordered all monks and staff and members to leave the temple. Fearing they would never be allowed to return to the temple, members and monks refused to leave. Currently, the Thai military has barricaded the members and monks inside the temple, cutting off food and supplies. There are thousands of members and monks being held inside the temple without food. This is the largest organized attack on religion in the 21st century with the Thai government's goal to take possession and dismantle the temple. This is also a human rights violation and a violation of the religious freedom acts. The government has even, the Thai government has even placed a DSI agent in charge of the Thai Buddhist council, which is made up of only the most senior monks. Do not be fooled by the fake news that this is about the abbot, the most venerable Lumpal Damachio, and the fake charges against him. This is an organized attack on the largest Buddhist temple in the world. If this temple falls, how can we protect smaller Buddhist temples around the world? This is without question the largest coordinated attack on religion of the 21st century. If we do not take action to save the Dhammakaya temple, and force the Thai government to eliminate Article 44. This may be the first domino in the fall of Buddhism in our world. We must come together and sign petitions in every country to force our governments to act on this human rights violation and the assault on religious freedoms. And the very real effort to eradicate Buddhism as we know it in Thailand. We must come together and contact every Buddhist temple around the world and make them aware of this very real threat to Buddhism. We need all Buddhists around the world 
to sign these petitions that are being created in every country to stop the Thai government's actions that are in violation of human rights acts, religious freedom acts, and immediately revoke Article 44 and restore the peace in Thailand. There are times in life that we are forced to see the evil in the world. To know we must act, we must come together to fight back, to prevent this from spreading through our world, to prevent evil spreading through our world. I want to thank all of you for taking the time to watch this video and please find these petitions in your country and sign them and help revoke Article 44 in Thailand and restore peace and stop the war on Buddhism. Thank you so much.